Hello everyone, this is your Lekala Master Uhara Gopal. In this video, I am going to discuss a simple and interesting strange topic with all of you, which is nothing but how pi radians equal to 180 degrees. Usually up to 10th class, whatever the trigonometry we learned and whatever the problems we have done, all those problems includes angles in the numerical figures. But whereas in plus one level, if you see any trigonometric problem, all the angles will be mentioned in terms of pi. The people used to understand or assume that pi is nothing but 180 degrees. But here the question is how this pi radians equal to 180 degrees and what is the word radians here? To understand this one, we are supposed to understand the measuring systems of angles. Something like in physics, we have two different measuring systems like CGS system, MKS system. To measure the same quantity, we have two different systems. Similarly, in geometry also, to measure the angle, the most familiar thing is degrees. But to understand this word and the next word also, we are supposed to consider two perpendicular lines, something like this. So, as they are mutually perpendicular, we know that the angle between these two lines equal to 90 degrees. But apart from using the word 90 degrees, we can consider the angle between these two lines as a right angle. So now, if you consider right angle and if you divide this right angle into 90 equal parts, each part will be considered as 1 degree. So we can understand 1 degree is nothing but 1 by 90th part of a right angle. Usually, this is the most familiar thing and this is called as sexagesimal system. Apart from this system, there is one more system is there. The same right angle instead of dividing into 90 equal parts, if you divide into 100 equal parts, each part will be considered as one grade, which is nothing but 1 by 100th part of a right angle. And this system is called as centesimal system. Apart from these two, sexagesimal system and centesimal system, there is one more interesting measuring of an angle is there. So to understand that one, we are supposed to consider a circle something like this with the center O. Now, let me consider a point A on the boundary of circle. If you join O and A, we know that OA will be equal to the radius. So now, taking a point B on the boundary of circle such that length of arc AB equal to radius. Length of arc AB equal to radius. So let me write AB arc length equal to radius. Then the angle between both the radii or the angle at the center of this small sector is nothing but equal to one radian. One radian is nothing but the angle between both the radii such that AB arc length equal to radius. So this is the most interesting and important thing what you are supposed to understand in understanding pi radians equal to 180 degrees. So now AB arc length equal to radius we understood. What is the formula to calculate the, the length of arc that is nothing but theta by 360 into 2 pi r which is nothing but equal to r here. What is theta here? I said 1 radian when arc AB length equal to radius. So 1 radian we used to mention something like this. 1 radian divided by 360 degrees into 2 pi r equal to r. If you cancel you are going to get 1 radian by 360 degrees into 2 pi. So 2 1 zero, 2 1 it is there we can cancel. So what you are going to get? pi into 1 radian divided by 180 degrees equal to 1. If you transpose this one, you are going to get pi radians equal to 180 degrees. This is how we are supposed to understand pi radians equal to 180 degrees. This is the very simple and most powerful, completely different thing what you are supposed to understand in the starting time of trigonometry at plus 1 level, my dear children. So, hope you understood the proof of how pi radians equal to 180 degrees in this small video. So, in the next video, we will meet with another simple topic. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. You are like Kalamastaru Hargopal.